What is happening people? Welcome back to the channel. Make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you check out Boohoo Man. Go and get 10% off using the code Saeed or go and check the link in the description and you can go and get 10% off. But is it finally done? Qatar, here we go. Is it finally over? The Qatar chick chessing yesterday night. I went bed early because I'm about to go safari for the day. So that should be fun. But you know what? I seen the news last night and I was like getting excited. I wanted to do a video last night, but I thought to myself, you know what? Let me just dissect the information. Let me see what the information is information. And it seems to be people that Qatar have won the race according to to the major major qatar news so basically in essence right the qatar people and the qatar media have basically published that Jeff Jassim has actually won the race and he's the preferred bidder and he will become manchester united's new owner like to me there's no smoke without fire <laughs> and i'm gonna take that and i'm gonna run with it <laughs> because when you deep it, people, yeah, and you understand the mechanisms and you understand the politics of this game, they've never come out in this situation till this point. I don't think, for me, things will be put out there in the open for Jake Jassim. By the way, it's got to be state-approved. It's got to be the government has to approve it. Anything that gets published, the government has to approve it. The share price is rocketed, like crazily, crazily rocketed. So... When you actually deep everything and you actually put everything t together, we could hear an announcement as you hear it. You could hear right now that this video could all make sense and it could be that Sheikh Jassim is a new Manchester United owner or will be the new Manchester United owner. And you know what? It's finally, finally looking that way. After all this time, I made a tweet out. Have faith. There's no f If you don't have faith in life, then there isn't much worth living. That's why I said... I became a philo philosopher. I became a, a poet when you didn't even know it. <laughs> so I kept that faith because I just said to myself, these Qatars, yeah, Qatari people do not stop. They do not stop, man. They don't want to give up already. You can't give up already. You can't. <laughs> you can't, people. You can't give up at the first fight. You've got to keep going, keep pushing. Maintain that. And for me, I just look at this situation right now and I'm just kind of almost like... By the way, the British media are quiet and you may hear something this morning, you know what I mean? Because they're quiet because it's hurting them. They don't want Sheikh Jassim coming to Man United. They don't want that. They want a person who's anonymous. Sorry, they want the, 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 the Jim Radcliffe. They want a guy who's put the Manchester back into Manchester United. <laughs> they want a bit of that. So... Of course, they're going to have that bias against um, Jassim. You know what I mean? And I love it. And I will be there. We will be there. To, for drinking the tears of all them British journalists that were making biased opinions uh, against um, against um, Sheikh Jassim, that were making articles that were, uh, you know, trying to display his character. Xenophobic, xenophobic articles. He's a mystique guy. Nobody really knows about him. You know what I mean? Like, who is he? This and that. Oh, trying to attack the fact that just because rich owners from the Middle East don't put themselves out there and are like Jim Radcliffe, you know what I mean? Come on, man. Let's not do this. Let's not do this. You know what I'm saying? So that, for me, is unbelievable. And we need to compete, man, people. Let's be honest here. We need to compete. There ain't no messing around anymore. There ain't. This is the time Manchester United compete. And when I mean compete, I mean compete properly. Back the manager. Give him what he needs. Because I tell you what, if you don't do that, yeah. <laughs> and you go and get Jim Radcliffe, it's game over. And you're having another five or ten years of the same old crap. And you see Man City doing parades. Come on, man. They're doing trebles at the minute. Don't it hurt you? Even if you're a Jim Radcliffe fan right now. And you say to yourself, you don't want no stay on bid. 
we're, we're trying to protect the club values. Listen, man, times have moved on, mate. You can still keep that tradition and be ambitious and have the money. Listen, man, you gotta be you gotta be shameless and and get with the times. If you're not shameless enough right now, then listen, you're gonna get what you're gonna get. You reap what you sow. We're not, we're not that club anymore that's built on buying youth players and this and that. That you've got to win. Pep Guardiola wins. Everyone's got to win now. The pressure to win is mad. Look at Chelsea. Arsenal are now moving. I'm hearing Decker Rice is coming and Caicedo. You've got to move with the times. And if you don't, then it's game over. It really, really is game over. So move with the times. Act with the times. And let's get this club back to what it belongs. Because that's where we want to be. This club deserves to be at the top, people. It really, really does. It's almost a passionate rant what I'm giving you right now. You know what I'm saying to you? At what? Look what the time I'm recording this. It's 5 a.m. I'm recording this 5 a.m. It shows you how much I've got to... I just want to believe that this is all true. So, yeah, people... It's going to be a good one, man. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited. And this club needs it. You know when it says, I need it. <laughs> I need it. I need it. You need it. This is a club reset. It's a club start. It's, a, it's get us back to the promised land. Get us back to where we deserve to be. And I tell you what, there could be hope out traffic. New infrastructure. Built the training ground. Stadium not roof leaking anymore. Get the youth team development sorted out. Get a proper facilities for the women to play football. Build them all out to traffic. Make Man United and make South Manchester unbelievable. That's what we need to do. And if you don't do that, it's another bad indictment of this football club. It really, really is. Another bad indictment of this football club. But let me know what you think in the below, guys. Give me your comments below. I will be dropping videos out. I'm not going to do live streams because, like I said, it's so, I'm so busy at the minute. I'm meeting someone very, very special, which I'll mention to you later on in another video. But yeah, check out Boohoo, man. Go and get yourself 10% off. Maybe there might be a Qatari t-shirt in uh, Boohoo, man. You don't know. I might even put a request. <laughs> Shake just in. <laughs> Qatar. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> but guys, it's been a good video. I hope you have the rest of your good day. And yeah, man, Qatar, is it finally over? Is it finally? over inshallah inshallah take care